Hello everyone. My name is Hyun Sok Song from Interactive Robotic Systems Lab at KAIST. This is collaborative research between KAIST and Indopolis University. I would like to introduce new concept of hip joint exoskeleton based on twisted string actuator to prevent low back pain and injuries in the working environment. A large number of workers suffer from low back pain or related injury during heavy lifting tasks in industrial and manufacturing settings. The main source of these injuries and pains comes from lifting heavy loads. During the lifting motion, high tension is applied to the lower back muscle and the disc is compressed, which leads to the low back pain. In order to prevent potential musculoskeletal disorder, various types of hip and back support exoskeleton have been developed. Most of them connect the electric motor directly to the hip joint through a conventional gear mechanism. However, high yield reduction has the disadvantage of low back drivability and decreased user safety due to their heavy weight and rigid structure. To make it lighter and compliant, some researchers and companies introduced pneumatic actuator-based exoskeleton. But when high pressure is applied through a cable from an external pump, it may cause inconvenience to the worker during test. In order to avoid those disadvantages, many researchers adopt the twisted string actuator or TSA due to the high power to weight ratio and compliance. Different types of exoskeleton and assistive device have been proposed using TSA. There are many advantages by adopting TSA for exoskeletons due to its high gear ratio and efficiency and low weight inertia and the cost. When the string is twisted by the relatively low torque, it produces the high linear force with contraction. Thus, when the string is twisted, it acts like a gear with a nonlinear gear ratio. We have designed our device to take advantage of variable nature of transmission ratio of TSA. In the design process, we first found the requirement for lifting the target payload. For this, a simplified body model was used to calculate the additional torque required for the hip joint when lifting a 10 kg load. To calculate the required hip joint torque, we have performed experiments and recorded the joint angle values during the lifting the object. So, we got required hip joint torque and angular velocity during lifting a 10 kg load from stoop stand position. At the beginning of the motion, a comparatively large torque is required then its values gradually decrease during the motion. Fortunately, this torque profile closely matches with the tendency of TSA transmission ratio, which is initially high for untwisted string and then drop with the twisting. This observation is one of the key motivation of this research. This is the prototype we made based on TSA, adopting a variable gear ratio. Our device can help to prevent lower back pain by supporting hip joint rotation. This can compensate for the added hip joint torque due to the load on the hands. For designing our exoskeleton, we choose the most straightforward way to make the device compact and lightweight as possible. The string of TSA is routed along the wheel's back to the hip joint. The motor torque is converted into a large linear force through a twisted string. Then the rotating pulley with this force generate the huge torque at the hip joint. So, one of the key design parameters of proposed exoskeleton is the pulley radius RP. It determines TSA length and stroke and also affects the torque generated at the hip joint. The minimum pulley radius is calculated with the maximum hip joint torque and the maximum tensile strength of the string to prevent breakage. The maximum pulley radius is calculated with the maximum rotation angle of the pulley and the contraction rate of string to prevent excessive twisting. This means that pulley radius RP can be anywhere between 12 and 111 mm. In order to calculate the achievable torque and angular velocity of the TSA-based exoskeleton, the gear ratio between rotor and pulley rotation was taken into account. Assuming that the generated force on the twisted string FS is converted into fully torque tau p with non-ideal transmission efficiency, the gear ratio can be obtained simply by multiplying the transmission ratio of TSA 
with the pulley radius RP. Finally, the gear ratio is calculated with the length and radius of string, maximum hip joint rotation angle, and the radius of the pulley. Once all parameters have been determined, we can say that the gear ratio is simply a function of pulley rotation angle. In order to satisfy the requirement in all hip joint angle, the gear ratio range was set as follows. The minimum boundary is determined by motor and hip joint torque, and the maximum boundary is determined by motor and hip joint angular velocity. Once most of the parameters have already been determined, the gear ratio can be designed by adjusting the pulley radius, motor torque, and angular velocity. Constraint area of gear ratio can be designed with the selected motor torque and angular velocity. If the pulley radius is adjusted and placed in this area, the requirement can be satisfied. In particular, as the minimum and maximum boundaries are close to each other, the exoskeleton can be designed with the minimal motor power. Through the designed gear ratio, it is possible to estimate whether the targeted hip joint torque and angular velocity are achievable. In particular, it is possible to estimate the minimum motor torque and angular velocity to satisfy the requirements. The developed exoskeleton has a pair of TSAs that is located beside the hip joints starting from the back of the shoulder. It contains harness and mount for supporting upper body, hip, and diff. The string have been guided inside hollow carbon 5 for sustaining high compression force and it is connected from the motor shaft coupling to the hip joint pulley. The total weight of system, including the battery, was measured to be around 6 kg. The wearer manually controlled lifting and rolling sequence with the controller. During the experiment, the wearer performed stoop stand motion with 10 kg load holding in their hands. During the trials, the generated torque less than the requirement initially. It is most likely the torque spent on harness deformation. Once all soft and compliant components of the exoskeleton are pre-tensioned, TSA operate as desired. Also, the torque and angular velocity achieved slightly above requirement, but they were adjusted by control system tuning. From our experimental result, we observed that our exoskeleton can generate assisted torque from 15 to 90 Nm in total. Also, if we consider the measured value in the gray area, angular velocity can be achieved up to 110 degrees per second. This research presents design guidelines and experimental evaluation of a TSA-based exoskeleton for hip assistance during lifting tasks. We used TC string actuator to take its advantage. During the observation, we found that its gear ratio matches well with the requirement. Finally, we developed the practical exoskeleton prototype based on our guideline and it achieved the requirement. In the future, we will consider about human-machine interface for control. And we are planning to evaluate the performance of our device by a core study. Or, we would like to conduct a study on lifetime of proposed system. Thanks for your watching. If you want more information and discussion, please contact us with the following email address.